Welcome back to Guangzhou in the second stage of the 2022 Hyundai Archery World Cup here at the International Archery Center. Behind me, the recurve archers are just coming to the halfway point of their qualifying round, but we'll check back in with them later. It's a little bit blustery today. Yesterday was a little calmer for qualifying for the compounds. And the story was Mike Schlusser and Sara Lopez, the reigning Hyundai Archery World Cup champions and world number ones who came out on top. Reigning world champion Sara Lopez was the only woman to top 700. She pipped former world champion Kim Yun Hee in the last end. Sí, estoy muy contenta con el trabajo. La verdad que el objetivo principal era estar en las primeras ocho, pero pues las cosas se dieron muy bien. Before we take a look at the results of today's recurve qualifying, let's talk a little bit about where this part of the competition is being held. We're at the Guangzhou International Archery Center, which was built ahead of the University at here in 2015, and it's dedicated to London 2012 Olympic champion Kibo Bay. You can understand why the greens are so good seeing the center. Like it's just everything what you need, everything what you must have, and they have it. Like it's crazy to see, and I'm a little bit jealous, that's for sure. Super exciting because I this is the first time that I came here to compete, and he's like, oh my god, I'm super excited. Beat Korea in Korea is like the dream of everyone. <laughs> so yeah, I I think everyone and Mexico team too, they, we want to do that. Conditions during this afternoon's qualifying were extremely tough. Kim Woo Jin, who's very experienced on this field, described them as hard, while Olympic champion Mete Gazoz said he needed to be smarter. At the end of the day, it was Che Mi Sun who led the women with a 6.55, and Korean superstar Kim Jae Dok that topped the men with a 6.85. Uh, the result was very satisfied. I think I'm going to be able to win the result. It's not yet the end, so I'm going to be able to prepare for the next game. I'm going to be able to win the so that's it from the first phase of competition here in Guangzhou. Next, we move on to the eliminations and they'll decide who gets to shoot in that fantastic arena at Guangzhou Women's University this weekend.